How you doing? It's Logan with Enduro Engineering. Today, we're going to show you how to install the radiator braces on the current Beta motorcycles. All right, so out here on the table, we've got spread out uh, all the parts that are going to come in your kit of the 11 4220 radiator braces for the Betas as well as what tools you're going to need to do the job. Okay, the first step you're going to need to do is remove the seat. You've got the press button here on the side. Pop the seat off. And then you're also going to want to remove the fuel line next. So go ahead and take a set of pliers. and remove the fuel line. Okay, now that you got your seat off, your fuel line disconnected, you can remove the bolts that hold the tank on using an eight millimeter. You've got one bolt here under the seat through the tank, and then each of the lower shroud bolts using the same eight millimeter, you can remove those as well. All right, now you can pull the tank off the motorcycle. Keep in mind, when you're pulling the tank off, you still got to disconnect the breather tube on your fuel cap. And then when you pull that up, underneath the tank here, there's another breather tube to unhook. Slide that off. And then you have your mode selector, where you're gonna want to unclip that as well. Now you can take your fuel tank and set it off to the side. All right, now that we got the tank off, the next step is going to be removing the plastic radiator louvers. To get these off, you can just press in with your thumb on the two tabs on the outer edge. Just press in the top one, press in the bottom one. Now you got the louver off. Go ahead and repeat the process, get the other louver off on the other radiator. Okay, now that we got the louvers out of the way, you're going to want to take an 8 millimeter. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use a T-handle. If you're going to use a ratchet with a socket, I would recommend to use an extension. That way you're not hitting your ratchet into the fins of the radiator and uh, smashing those up, bending them, wrecking those. So the t handle is going to be long enough that we're clear of that. And we're going to remove the two bolts that mount the radiator to the frame. There's going to be a washer with that. You're going to want to keep these together. Same at the bottom. Make sure you keep that washer on. Now your radiator is loose. Okay, since we're working on the right side of the bike, you're going to want to take the inner plate. It's labeled inside. 4220R is for the right side. And L is for the left side, obviously. And all you have to do is just hold the radiator back from the frame a little bit. And just slide it in between the radiator and the frame. And just guide it into place. You got the two mounting holes that'll go onto the frame. They'll line up right with your rubber grommets. Just have all that lined up for now. Then take one of the longer of the rods. You got a longer one and a shorter one. The longer one's gonna go on the top and a provided M6 by 16 bolt. You can slide that right through that plate that you just installed and thread on the rod. Then we're going to make sure that logo's facing forward. Go ahead and take a closed end 8 millimeter wrench to tighten that up.
Then you can go ahead and take one of the shorter rods, use the longer one on top. Shorter one's gonna go on the bottom. On the bottom, you're gonna use an M6 by 16 button head bolt. Feed that through the bottom hole. And get that rod tightened up. Like to do it by hand. Then you can grab a four millimeter Allen wrench. And then tighten that. Okay, and again, we're on the right side of the bike. So I'm gonna take the outer plate, which is labeled 4220R2. The arms on the back are gonna go behind the radiator. That way the two mounting holes to the rods line up. And then go ahead and take two M by 16 button heads and get those both started on both of the radiator brace rods. I like to get them both started by hand. That way you can make sure that they're lined up before taking that four millimeter Allen wrench and tightening those down. Okay, now that you got the two button head bolts tightened up to the radiator brace rods, this is where we can tie in the two plates together on the back side. You've got a mounting hole up top here and another one down here at the bottom. You're gonna take two of the provided six by eight button head bolts. You can get both of those started. Then again, take a four millimeter Allen wrench and tighten those. All right, the right side's mostly done. We're gonna move over to the left side. Basically, we're gonna repeat the process. But we showed you the right side first um, because the left side, you may have a fan on it. Some of the models come with a fan or if you've added a fan accessory to it, we're gonna show you how to install it with the fan on there. Okay, so again, just like the right side on the left here, we're gonna remove the mounting bolts that hold the radiator to the frame. Again, make sure you keep that washer with these bolts. You are going to reuse these bolts and those washers. Now that we got those bolts off, we can just slide the rubber grommets off the mounting locations there on the frame. That way we can slide that inner plate in behind. So we're going to take the inner plate, make sure that the stamp goes towards the radiator. Slide that in, and again, line up the mounting bolts, holes there on that plate to line up to the mounting brackets there on the frame and the rubber grommets of the radiator. Take the longer of the radiator rods, radiator brace rods, and the M6 by 16 hex head bolt. Then again, just pay attention um, to the Enduro Engineering logo. That should read facing forwards there. Um, so if it's backwards, upside down, you just got the rod in backwards. And then take that closed end eight millimeter. And tighten that rod up. Then moving down to the bottom, again, take the shorter of the radiator brace rods, 
and then an M6 by 16 button head bolt. And go ahead and get that rod mounted up there. Then again, take a four millimeter Allen wrench. And go ahead and tighten that. Then take the left side outer plate where the stamped number is. That's going to be at the top. Then again, four by or six by 16 button head bolts. You're going to thread those into the radiator brace rods both on the top and on the bottom and then again uh, leave that loose that way you can get these lined up if you tighten it it might not line up you can cross thread these so just keep it loose until you get it all lined up then again a four millimeter allen wrench you can tighten those. Okay, just like the other side, moving to the back side. We've got a top mounting hole that goes straight in. The outer plate needs to go closer to the radiator where the inner plate is on top of it. And then take that four or that six by eight button head bolt, get it started there. And then on the bottom there, it's gonna go in from the side, get that started. Tighten that up with your four millimeter and then move back to the top to tighten that. Okay, on the left side, whether you have a radiator fan on or not, you're gonna have this bracket to go on the left side. It's gonna basically support around the fan better. Even if you don't have a fan, it's gonna support these a lot better. To get this in, you're gonna need to slide it up through that way. But first, you're gonna need to take a three millimeter Allen wrench. And if you do have a fan, you're going to need to remove just this one lower left mounting bolt. Along with the clip to give yourself enough room to slide this in. And to slide this in with the thermostat, go ahead and take the bottom half of it here. Aim it towards the lower radiator hose just like that and then it'll just slide forward as you turn it around the fan and go ahead and take the provided six by eight button head bolts and get those all started you're gonna have five of them and I like to start at the top and then the bottom that way the other three should be lined right up Get those all started. Once they're all started, take your four millimeter Allen and tighten each one of those five bolts. Okay, now that you got those five tightened, you can take the clip that you just removed, reinstall that. along with that bolt for the mounting position on the fan. And again, your three millimeter Allen wrench and tighten that fan back up. Obviously, if you're not running a fan, you don't have to worry about that. This will just mount right on, give you some extra support. Okay, we've got the radiator braces all assembled on both sides. Now we're gonna mount the radiators back to the frame you're gonna use those same bolts that you pulled out from the mounting the radiator to the frame there. But what you're gonna do is add one of these 100 washers as a spacer. So you're gonna go right in that order where it goes spacer, spacer, then washer. And reinsert that back into the mounting holes onto the frame. For both the top and the bottom. Right. 
Get both those started by hand. Then take that eight millimeter T handle, or again, the long extension for your socket. And tighten the radiator back to the frame. Now we've got the left side mounted. You're gonna do the exact same on the right side. Now you've tightened those mounting bolts back to the frame. You can reinstall the louvers. The curve is gonna go towards the outside. Line those pegs on the inner side. And then just like taking them off, you can just use your thumb and press those outer tabs right back into place. All right, now that we've got both radiator louvers on, now we can put the tank back on. Just do the opposite order that you took it off. So first you're gonna reconnect the mode selector. Grab that clear breathing tube. Hook that back up. You can slide the tank down into place. Reconnect the breather tube for the cap. You can take a pair of pliers Reconnect the fuel line. And then the bolt underneath the seat that you removed from the tank, you can use that eight millimeter and reinstall that. And then the next step, the same bolts are removed from the lower portion of the radiator shrouds. You're gonna reuse that same bolt. You're gonna feed it through the shroud, then take one of our provided 100 spacers there and go in between the shroud and the radiator and then you get that bolt lined up and get that tight into the radiator and do the exact same on the opposite side. All right, your last steps can be just putting your seat back on. Just make sure you get the front and middle post lined up. Click it into place, check, make sure it's on, and you're ready to go. Hopefully that helped out installing your radiator braces on your beta. If you have any questions, give us a call at 517-393-2421.